What if I were to tell you you could earn over $40 an hour from the comfort of your home? And starting with zero money and zero experience. Well, you can, and what makes it even better is it's actually easier to get hired for these types of position than it is for traditional jobs. In fact, with some of these, you can literally get hired and start making money within the day. And the first one on this list is going to be internet scoping. And I know what you're thinking, what the heck is internet scoping? Is that where you target the like button and then hit it? No, actually not, but you should definitely do that because I would appreciate it. Internet scoping is where you work from home in your pajamas while you help lawyers make sense of their jumbled arguments. It's kind of like being a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you're gonna be solving the mystery of what the heck was that lawyer actually trying to say? It goes to bias, Your Honor. I sustain the objection, next question. Okay. all right. And this is going to be great for people who have an eagle eye for detail and a knack for research. And I found this really cool story of Doris, for instance, who went from being laid off to making over $4,500 a month as a scopist. And you could even make more than that if you're good at the job, because this is all about basically acting as a quality control person for the court reporter who is recording transcripts. And with this one, as a beginner, you'll probably make somewhere around $500 to $800 a month. And of course, you'll be doing it part time. Now, as you get some experience, you'll probably make more like $1,500 to $4,500 a month, depending on the time of year. This is one of those careers where you're gonna be much busier at certain times of the year, which is actually a good thing. If it was a steady, stable career, you probably wouldn't be able to make as much money with it. Now, some of the pros of scoping are going to be the ability to work from home, flexible hours, and a steady stream of work. Some of the cons include the potential for repetitive work and having to constantly learn new software and techniques. So if you're a member of the Grammar Police, this career might be great for you, and you should probably be looking down in the comments right now to see if anybody made a mistake so that you can correct them. This one gets a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is going to be a great way for you to help people out in the healthcare industry without having to wear scrubs and go into a clinic or a hospital. And that's going to be a telehealth coordinator. Now being a telehealth coordinator is kind of like being a traffic cop except for doctors. And instead of honking horns, you are going to be managing video calls. And telehealth is of course really exciting because it allows people to see a doctor really quickly to determine whether they need to go in person. And that's just a lot more convenient for the patient as well as the doctor. And as a telehealth coordinator, you will be managing all different types of administrative tasks. And with the increasing demand for remote healthcare, especially with everything that happened in the world over the last few years, the need for telehealth coordinators is on the rise. And the job can be done from anywhere with an internet connection. Now with this one, you'd expect to make about $48,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are you have the ability to work from home, you get to help people because you work in the healthcare industry, but you don't have to interact directly with patients and the job market is growing rapidly. Cons include potential stress from managing multiple appointments. And of course, you're gonna have to stay up to date with the changing healthcare technologies. This one gets an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. The next one is gonna be great for you if you're a multitasker and you like talking to people, but you don't want to actually talk with them over video or over the phone. And that is going to be a live chat specialist. And being a live chat specialist is kind of like being a therapist, but you don't get to charge by the hour. And a fun fact here is studies have shown that customers are most satisfied when they get to talk to people in live chat rather than having to call someone on the phone or send an email. So basically you're gonna be kind of like a customer service representative, but you're gonna be typing to them instead of video calling or calling them over the phone. Now, sometimes this job can also involve certain incentives like kind of pointing people towards certain products and you kind of get a commission on them. But it really depends on the company. But yeah, live chat support is super, super easy to get into and you'll make around $43,000 a year on average. And if you get into the positions where you can have incentives, you can make quite a bit more than that. Some of the pros here are you have the flexibility to work from anywhere with an internet connection. You have the ability to help people and solve problems. And there can be a good amount of opportunity for advancement. Cons of this one can include dealing with frustrated customers, of course, and having to to deal with multiple chats at the same time. So if you love multitasking, helping people, and you don't mind being a digital superhero, being a live chat specialist might just be the perfect job for you. And hey, at least you don't have to wear a cape or go into the office. And by the way, I have some good resources to get into some of the careers that I talk about in this video, not all of them, but I'll go ahead and put them down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Some of the resources are free and some of them are paid, but they're all pretty reasonable. But yeah, for live chat specialist, I'm actually
actually gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score just because of how easy it is to get into it. The next one on the list can be somewhat messed up, so you need to be careful which company you work for, but that is going to be content moderator. And this is kind of like being a bouncer for the internet. You have to keep the rowdy ones out and make sure that everybody follows the rules. And basically as a content moderator, what you're gonna be doing is reviewing user-generated content. So things like comments, photos, videos, etc. Now there are some types of content moderation where you're gonna be having to view explicit videos. So things that are very messed up to see and content moderators that do this report having some type of trauma afterwards in many cases. And there's different types of content moderation where you're just making sure that people you know, stay within the guidelines. And content moderators make about $42,000 a year. Some of the pros here are flexible hours, the ability to work from home, and the importance of the work being done. Some of the cons include potentially disturbing content and high levels of scrutiny on your moderation. And yeah, hopefully you're not one of those moderators that bans people because they have a different political belief than you do, for instance. That is not cool. But yeah, this one is relatively easy to get into. There's also a lot of job openings available. And this one is gonna get an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Now again, keep in mind, these are the types of jobs where you can get into them very quickly. These are not the type of jobs you're probably going to be doing for your entire career. That is not the purpose of this video. Are you looking for a remote job that allows you to use your technical expertise to keep a business running smoothly? Well, you might wanna check out business system admins because sometimes Excel can't fix everything. And I like this quote from John Chambers of Cisco that at least 40% of all businesses will die in the next 10 years if they don't figure out how to change their entire company to accommodate new technologies. And basically you're gonna be managing and maintaining the software systems that companies use on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is done to ensure effective business operations. And you're kind of like a mechanic that keeps the engine of a business running smoothly. And the reason this one is so good for getting a remote job is because of the fact that this is something that's been going online lately and the demand for skilled business system admins has gone up a lot. I wanted to put one on here that would be a little bit better than some of the other ones on the list, maybe even something you could do for your entire career. And this one you make about $97,000 a year. Some of the pros here include good pay, flexible work hours, and the ability to work remotely, of course. Some of the cons include a need for constant learning and the potential for long hours during system outages. So if you're the type of person who loves to fix things, but you don't wanna have to deal with the hassle of office politics or finding a parking spot, then business system admin might be the perfect remote job for you. This one gets an eight out of 10 opportunity score just because of the fact that it's gonna be harder to get into. So next one on the list, I'm gonna be talking about some company specific jobs. And this particular company is going to be very well known. So if you're a tech savvy problem solver and you're looking for a remote job with a world renowned company, look no further because you can be a Apple home care specialist. Now there's a lot of different names that they go by. In this particular case, we're gonna be talking about Apple home advisors. Now this one had super, super positive reviews online. People absolutely love working for Apple. And basically what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna be working remotely in order to assist customers with issues that they have with Apple products. So you're gonna be kind of like the emergency medical responders of the tech world, swooping in to save the day if an iPhone is on the fritz. And Apple is always hiring. Now, according to Glassdoor, Apple at-home advisors make about $37,000 a year, and reportedly they have amazing benefits. So some of the pros here are, of course, you're gonna have remote work, there is extensive training, which is a good thing, and you get a chance to work with a world-renowned company, which is gonna look great on your resume. Some of the cons here is, of course, you're gonna have to deal with frustrated customers, and you might have to work odd hours in order to accommodate international customers as well. Oh, and it's probably a good thing to be relatively familiar with Apple products. And there is a lot of Apple products these days. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see an Apple house one of these days. This one, I'm gonna give an opportunity score of eight out of 10 because of the fact that it's a really prestigious company. They're always hiring and it's relatively easy to get into. Now, the next one on the list is going to be for somebody who is a next level customer service representative. This is something that you can make a lot more money than a typical customer service representative job, and that is going to be a customer success manager. Now, an interesting fact here is they've done studies and they've shown that getting new customers is somewhere in between five and 25 times more expensive than just retaining your existing ones. And that's why it's so important to have really good customer service and customer success manager is basically the ultimate version of customer service. Now, this one is getting more and more common, but a lot of the time you're gonna see customer success managers, especially for more high tech 
ticket type products and services. This is especially common in the business to business industry, and that is businesses that service other types of businesses. Now, according to Glassdoor, customer success managers make about $94,000 a year. So some of the pros here include the ability to work remotely, of course, there's super high demand for this job, and you have an opportunity to work closely with people and help them succeed. Some of the cons here are you're going to need very strong communication skills, and sometimes you can be put in high pressure positions. This one gets an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. And by the way, I made a great video about the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. A lot of these are more long term, take a little bit longer to get into, but some of them are relatively easy to get into as well. And you can check that out by clicking right here.